Hello, lovely. I wanted to pop in because I'm so full of inspiration at the moment. I'm really in the thick of doing the last of the interviews for this third series of A League of Extraordinary Mothers. And I wanted to make sure that you knew about it because I would hate you to miss it. This series has been born out of many conversations that I've had with mums who are in that place um, of just being in a bit of a rut or not having the motivation that they need to put into place the things that they want to be doing. Yes, that sounds really broad, but so many of us are in this place of, you know, we know how to lose weight, but we just can't find the motivation to make it happen. We know we want to declutter our home because it's going to make a big difference to how we feel. We just can't make the motivation to um, do, you know, find the motivation to make it happen. We may have all this knowledge that we need to be sharing with the world. We know that we have something in us that could potentially be life-changing for somebody else, whether it is through our own life experience or through, you know, having studied intensively at something, but we just don't feel like we're good enough or we don't have the confidence to be putting it out in the world. There are so many pieces here. And one of the pieces is that most of us as mums are not doing a good enough job of giving ourselves a bit of love and a bit of self-care. So this series has tapped into all these pieces. I have incredible, inspiring women from across the globe who have a, a, a calling, a purpose to share their stories of going through struggle and all sorts of things that have pulled them down into dark times and how they've pulled themselves out of that and gone on to do amazing things. And now they want to share their knowledge with you so that you can do the same. Thing. So there is talk about um, self-love practices, really easy things that we can be doing to give ourselves a boost. I've got a mojo recovery specialist that talks about how to get that spark back in your soul. I have, um, you know, there's all sorts of bits around get, looking after your home. So there's things on decluttering, on low-tox living, on simplifying and, you know, the effects of looking at a more minimalistic way of living. What else have we got? Oh, I've got Annie Murray who's going to talk to us about her work, which is doing photo shoots with women who have lost the ability to see the beauty in themselves and how she makes women feel beautiful again and see their own beauty. Then, um, oh, and I, you know, like there's one of the things that I hear very often is a lack of confidence around money and managing our finances. Oh my goodness, there is so much in here, the importance of connection. And this is a big one because as we come together as mums, we share this energy and together we can rise, together we can live our best lives now. So if you ever use motherhood, as an excuse for why you are not thriving right now, then this series is for you. I hope you will join me. The um, the links are all available for you, whether it's on social media, or I can't think where I'm going to share this, or in the email. It's there. And you can always find me, send me a personal message, ask me questions. Connection is so, so important. And I would love to hear from you. Okay. I hope you'll join me. We go live on Friday. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Until then, much love. Bye.